Hi everyone, it is Jared Johnson here with Day Traders FX, and it is Monday webinar time. Uh, today is a recording only. I love doing our live Monday webinars, but um, I gotta go pick my wife up from the airport about a half hour before the webinar uh, starts, and it's in LA, and I don't live that far from LA, but for those of you that know Southern California, it will be hours of driving. So. Uh, anyways, I've got to do that, so that's why we're not doing a live webinar today. We're doing a recording, which is the next best thing, because we've got some super great things to talk about. So let's get down to it. Uh, the first thing that we need to talk about is there's going to be more of an official announcement on this coming up. But I always encourage everybody to get a five-day free trial of the live trading group. Um, there are... Uh, two different memberships. There's one that includes the live trading group and all of the website access. And there's one that just is website access, does not include the live trading group. And the reason I bring that up is because uh, we're making some changes within the live trading group and it's taking a little bit of a shift towards um, some more excellentness, I guess you could say. Uh, uh, we're, we're, we're kind of stepping it up in the group a little bit. We're changing things up. We're going to add a few a few things that will only be accessible to those that actually have uh, access to the live trading group. Uh, there's going to be some fun stuff uh, happening, so I hope you can uh, give it a shot. Come join us and, and take part in all this. Uh, it's all just a nice aggressive push to make more money trading because that's what we got to do. We got to make that cash. Okay, so here's a little look at the calendar this week. It's kind of a quiet calendar, which I personally love. Good grief, we've had over the last several weeks, it seems like, just central bank after central bank after employment number after central bank and blah, blah, blah. And it's, it's, it's great, but it's driven me nuts because the markets have just gone so crazy and some great setups we really had to wait to get into because we have huge announcements coming up in several hours or a day and, and now we've kind of just got a clear clean schedule here. Uh, so we have some, uh, uh, we, we, we've seen Draghi speak, he already basically said the Euro's just hosed and, uh, and going to have some major issues. Um, so we've, we've seen that uh, come already. Um, coming up later today, we have some Chinese news. Uh, Tuesday's got a little bit. Of, there, there's no U.S. news. We've got trade balance for New Zealand, which is good. Retail sales for Canada. That's a good little mover. And a little bit of Euro news as well. Nothing too terribly crazy either way there. Uh, we've got some German IFO, a bunch of uh, uh, little you know announcements uh, coming on Wednesday. U.S. home sales, uh, uh, some of that. And then we have durable goods on Thursday. And then Friday's just nothing, which is great. I love that. Uh, because we can just really dig into the trades that we want to get into and go for it. Okay, so here is the euro dollar. Uh, I like the euro dollar a lot. Remember, if you haven't downloaded the free indicator, download the free indicator. Go to. Let me just uh, let me bring that up for you. Uh, if you go to download the free indicator, it's j.mpdtfxfree, and it'll take you to this page, and that's going to download the free indicator for you. Hey, there's my face. Make sure you download that free indicator because it is going to be such a huge help. Remember, j.mp forward slash dtfxfree. It'll forward you to all this stuff right here, but that's just the short, uh, the short link for it. So um, that guy right there, right there. Just go to that, go to that website address and download this indicator because as you look at it, it, it already tells me that um, Euro dollars got some setups going on. The four hour chart and the 15 minute chart are both getting extended. What we're looking for on Euro dollar, I just don't think that we're going to, uh, I don't think the Euro dollar is going to miss 127.50 area. I think it's going to make one more push down. And if it gives us that one more push down, we're going to buy the heck out of it uh, down around 127.50 area. 
So that's what I want to do with this euro dollar. Um, anything in the middle, you know, we, we can maybe trade a trend line break. I don't know if I'm going to do that. I'm just going to watch this. Um, I do think the euro dollar is going to make it back up to 130. Uh, we have some nice missed pivots up around 130 that need to get hit, daily and weekly pivots. Uh, we have a 200 moving average that's super extended. We have a nice falling wedge right here. So we have lots of re uh, uh, reason to believe that the euro dollar is going to make it back up to 130. Now, beyond 130, that is some skepticism that I have got, but uh, but I think we're going to get back up to 130. That's a great little area, and we're going to look to take that trade. Uh, but I would ideally like to do it after the dip down to 127.50. If it ha and, and again, if it happens that it starts breaking some trend lines, and again, we might get into it a little bit sooner. But 120, 127.50 would be my ideal area to start buying into euro dollar. Uh, pound dollar, I really don't have any setups on the pound dollar for the moment. Um, I do like the Aussie dollar. Remember our indicator, such a great tool. Man, this thing is great. Uh, the indicator is telling us that the Aussie dollar is is getting pretty oversold in the short term. That's that's the one hour chart. Uh, it's made a pretty nice run away from this 200 moving average and through everything and, and it's just been making a nice push down. I think the Aussie dollar is going to continue down a lot. Um, but uh, Aussie dollar looks good, and I think we're going to have a nice opportunity to buy this probably at the break of some trend lines. I don't know exactly what price, but I'm going to look for trend line breaks. I'm a little nervous with Aussie pairs sometimes because they just tend to go and go and go and go. Uh, so I think we're up for a little short-term correction on Aussie dollar, but nothing major. And if we're able to buy this thing on a little bit of a move up, then we're probably going to take a crazy chance and short it uh, if we get up into you know that 90 level uh, area right up here that would put us just about in contact with the 200 moving average and some of that resistance so probably buy up to 90 short from 90 down to you know 85 I think there's probably a big chunk of pips in there um, we're already in dollar CAD we got in dollar CAD uh, 110 it's up and down and up and down and up and down and so we got in at 110 and it was against us and for us and everything it's right back in the good graces I love the dollar CAD I think this is such a I actually love trading the dollar CAD I feel like I've really missed out on this pair over the last several years I've just totally stayed away from it and I finally found a setup that I love that works so consistently well with the dollar cat. It just works so great. And so I really love it. I love trading this pair now. It's maybe one of my favorites. Uh, the dollar cat is great, and I think we're going to get up to 111 pretty easily. And I think we are going to reach 112 with a little bit of push and a tailwind and a hope and a prayer. Uh, so 1, 1, 112, you can see that's up around, uh, actually that's around these highs right here. So 112 gets us up uh, close to those highs. The highs are actually about 112.75, uh, but I think we can get up to 112 there fairly easily and, and get a nice little, uh, nice little trade out of that. So we're going to add to this dollar cad if it dips below 110 again. If it gets below 110 again, buy the heck out of the dollar cad. Uh, if it just dips down to 110, add a little bit more. But, uh, but buy the mother-loving heck out of this thing below 110 if we see that again. But we're probably just going to see a dip down closer to 110, and we can add just a little bit more to that long. Um, we're getting a little bit of a setup here on the one-hour chart uh, with Aussie New Zealand. Uh, one-hour chart's giving us just a little bit of love here, but uh, not really anything super impressive yet. However, the... 15-minute uh, chart starting to look pretty good. Uh, probabilities aren't crazy high. We're 50%, but it's it's starting to look like something might turn out uh, with this Aussie New Zealand. So so we're going to look for opportunities to buy this thing probably up into uh, 110. You can see that it's about uh, 109, you know, 20. So we're going to look for 70 to 80 pips of a move higher on this. And then I don't really know what I'm going to do with the Aussie New Zealand after that. I don't really have any plans. I don't really know where I think it's going. I think we have a shorter term set up and then I don't I don't know. I don't know after that, but uh but I think we can buy some correction, get, you know, maybe up to 100 pips out of this and then we'll trade it right back on down if if we can get a good entry there. Um dollar yen, here's what I have to say about the dollar yen. It's going to be a little bit 
interesting. The dollar yen is extended enough for me that that I'm pretty nervous about buying it. I think the dollar yen, and and this is what yen pairs do. They can just keep running and running and running and running and running when you think they can't run anymore. And so this dollar yen is probably going to break this trend line. It's probably going to head higher. I don't know. I I just I think it's probably going to move higher, but it's too high for me to buy into it now. Uh, 110 is probably going to get reached. We had a high of about 109.50. Um, I'm just nervous to buy anything on this now because of how extended it is. Uh, we have four-hour charts that are you know that are pretty far up there. One-hour charts that are like at record levels almost. Um, so I'm more interested in shorting dollar yen. Maybe after one more push up, if we get 110, I'll probably short dollar yen. If it doesn't dip down like at all and then it hits 110 then I'll probably get in at 110 uh, for a short um, you know uh, if, it, if it runs up another hundred pips that's great um, and I'll probably jump into that short from there another pair that I'm enjoying quite immensely is the New Zealand dollar I think this is going to be a good buying opportunity uh, at or just below 8100 I'd like to see it retrace 30 to 50 pips uh, you can see that this uh, this nice little double bottom that we had, which was about 80.55, 58, somewhere in there. What, what's that exact number? Uh, the low on this was 80. Oh, well, I was way off. Really? 80.76. Where do I get this? Anyway, all right. So 80.76. So, anyways, 81.00. I like. I think we're going to see again. The dollar, uh, New Zealand dollar, has run down 700, almost 800 pips in a fairly short amount of time. It's time to get some correction. It's time to buy this thing and get a little piece of the action. This could make for a great neckline right here. By the way, um, it, it's it's kind of uh, it's kind of crazy looking on a big daily chart or weekly chart, excuse me, like this one. But you can see, I mean, with a little bit of I don't know, a little bit of something that that there might be some shoulder action here. Uh, nice little neckline, and this could run up and give us some more shoulder action, maybe around 8,500, and then really just tank down to 7,500 or something like that. Uh, that's an 800 pip move, so we could get another 800 pips out of that below the neckline. So, anyways, New Zealand dollar is turning into a buying opportunity for me, short term. You know, something that we're gonna uh, look to get up into the, uh, you know, into the lower uh, 80s. You know, 80, 8300 area, right around there. We've got a bunch of pivots and a bunch of things to target there. Uh, but I think 8,300 is probably going to be a pretty decent target for this New Zealand dollar, and then we can really start to to ride this 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 boat up and then ride it back down. So that's going to be great. So I really like New Zealand dollar for that. I don't really have anything on Euro pound at the moment, or pound Swiss franc, or really any of these other pairs uh, uh, just yet. But I'm watching. I'm keeping an eye on things. Uh, Aussie Swiss franc is is uh, I talked about this earlier with the group. I like the Aussie Swiss franc, um, and I think that there's going to be a, a a decent little move and some pips to be had here. I'd like to see this get a little bit lower. The one hour chart's looking interesting. Uh, you can see that it's just been you know running down and down and down. Uh, but one hour chart is is interesting, um, and there might be a buying opportunity coming up sooner than later on that Aussie Swiss franc. So we'll look at that. We'll we'll jump into some of that if we get there. But um, big priorities in buying Euro dollar, uh, buying Aussie dollar after a little bit more of a dip, uh, buying some more dollar CAD after a little bit of a dip, buying Aussie New Zealand. I, I don't usually. I'm not just buy, buy, buy everything. Uh, we'd like to short the the dollar yen if we get a bit of a move higher. That would be great. Looking to buy New Zealand dollar. I mean, just buy Aussie Aussie Swiss franc. I'm just. I'm. It's a buy week. It's a buy week. I want to buy everything. It's just a buy week. So. Uh, anyways, that's what we're looking at. Um, and again, get a free trial to the trade group this week. See some of the new things that we're doing. Um, I think that you guys will enjoy it. Uh, I again, I don't mean to alienate anybody, but but we're going to do a few uh, slightly more advanced things in the trade group this week. So it might not be for everybody. I'll be honest, but it's going to be uh, it's going to be great. So I'm looking forward to it, and I'm looking forward to a week of trading. Lots of details coming on Twitter and free videos throughout the week, and so on of, of little ideas that we can get into. So look for those. Best of luck, everybody. I will see you all very soon. Take care, guys.